So we were just enjoying the lightning show and I heard a buzzing, disconnected all the electrics and then found that this wire which has given me an electric shock. So. Don't touch it. Oh. Maybe we can. Oh. So it was only a short stop in Naples because we've got this lovely 15 knot breeze which I'm sure we can all agree 15 knots is the perfect amount of wind. So we're leaving, we're gonna go in between the mainland and Capri. But yeah, it was a very rolly anchorage, there's a lot of traffic and um, being in cities in this heat is just, it's just not nice and it's not easy with the dog. We'd rather be sailing in this heat. We've got a nice wind. So we're close hauled, really pinching into the wind. Hopefully we can get through the gap. So the navigation tablet is broken. So we're just using our phone, but we're also, we're enjoying not using it. So we'll just kind of, we'll, we'll look at it for a course and we'll pick out a landmark and we'll try and aim towards the landmark and see how we're doing. Just, just using it to check as opposed to constantly referring to it. It's good, it's good practice. Mount Vesuvius looking pretty cool in the background. We must make so many fellow sailors so happy. We, we have literally never under sail overtaken any other sailing boat ever, never. And we've sailed a lot of miles in this boat already. It's crazy, isn't it? I've even got the little baby sail up as well. And uh, I've just put that up. Hopefully we'll get 0.1 knot more. I wish all the ferries were foiling ferries because they don't have any wake at all. What are you doing, Marky? I'm trying to get the Aston Villa game. <laughs> First game of the season in this <laughs> horrible place. Sorry, it's not horrible. It's just made horrible by the commercial traffic and the tourists. Ugh. Actually, they're not tourists. They're, they're probably local. You are a tourist. I know I'm a tourist. It's just horrible. It's incredibly rough and choppy. And it's all because of the traffic. Nothing to do with the wind. We're bobbing around so much. And the sea is weirdly choppy. The swell is all over the place. And it's only caused by ferries and uh, speedboats. <laughs> it's crazy. And at night. It's super calm. Yoshi's heading off. Absolutely steaming at 7.5 knots. Now I can kind of see why people like it here. Just around this corner is quite beautiful. But it, it, it's unbearable, the amount of boats here. This 
is our luxury dinner. Salad, fresh vegetable, definitely a luxury. And cheese. <laughs> After our fridge broke, it's definitely a luxury. Oh, yeah. What's those pink bits? Don't just tell me to shut. <laughs> We're gonna go and take the dinghy over there and see what's in this gorge because there's no other place to land. Poor little Yoshi needs a walk. Yes. So much nicer when there's no more other boaties. Yeah. <laughs> Some really strong catabatic winds coming down. Wow, this is cool. This is the test from that face. Which one did you choose? A bag of tissue, or a watch, or a hammer? Don't touch it. It's close. I'll take the hammer. Maybe I'll take the tissue. <laughs> Get a uh, shotgun shell. It's funny, but these boats probably get used reasonably regularly, so people manage to find their way down here somehow. Oh, there is a track like all the way up there, I think. I feel like that one's lived in because it's got a tarp. Oh, this is insane. It's crazy. So beautiful. Alright, this is tonight's game. <laughs> one nail. Two. One, one. One, one. <laughs> one nail. Two, one. Two, one. Yeah. I don't even like this game. <laughs> I like it. Do you see a boat for this household? I don't see the boat. I don't see a boat. Yeah. I don't see how a boat could get. There is a stair, staircase coming down to the end. But only when, if there is a storm, then you cannot go. Oh, I would love to be in that house when there's a storm. Oh my gosh, that's my dream house. Oh. This is the worst place to be as a cruiser, a sailed boat cruiser. I mean, it's absolutely heaven for motorboaters. They probably love this, the wakes that they all create for each other. It's horrible, it's from 7 a.m. It's constant rocking, banging. Boats come in within 10 meters. And uh, it's horrible, we need to get out of here. Coast, geographically, very beautiful way that is it's just a procession of motorboats going past we need to get out of here but there's no wind we want to cross this bay and uh, get to the other side hopefully there'll be less people i think we might just go to the land now for an hour and hope that a sea breeze fills in and then we'll just shoot off last night i fell asleep with benny and wake up with benny and uh makes me want to cry. <laughs> It'll never translate to video. You know, like when you watch shots that shoot in tropicals, you only see the beautiful uh, swimming and the beautiful sea, but then you don't feel the stickiness on your body. Yeah. And you don't feel the 
sweats, you don't feel the heat that tries to burn your head. You only <laughs> see the beauty <laughs> from the screen. <laughs> Hopefully we're going to a calmer place. It's so much calmer out on the sea, even with 13 knots of wind. I, could, I really couldn't believe that place. Such a shame, geographically beautiful. Not for me, not for me. There's a lot of fishermen and a lot of nets out here, so that could be a good sign that there's fish. As always, when we go into deep water, I've got the feather, got the, the lure out back in desperate hope for a fish. Although with the fridge not working, hopefully if we get a fish, it's not too big. So we're doing a nice six to seven knots now with 12 knots wind apparent. So that means the wind's at about 18 knots. Wasn't forecast, it was supposed to be super light. I know I keep repeating it, but uh, sea breezes always overpower the forecast. So you can pretty much count on a sea breeze. With this boat, we've kind of worked out that we can go a third of the wind speed. And also we worked out that the best type of music to sail with is laid back jazz, particularly Chet Baker. The kind of offbeat hits on the drums and the trumpet just complement the waves. I'm not a big jazz fan, really I'm not, but while sailing. You are becoming a jazz man. I'm becoming a jazz man. flipping line snapped. We probably should have, well, we did slow the boat down actually. It wasn't going that fast. Maybe we should have stopped it, I don't know. But the line and the swivel on it pinged back and uh, I'll get a close up. My eye was, has gone completely blurry. I can't see through it. And it's cut on my eyelid and I've just got some like scratches and stuff on my neck, about five miles from land. Oh. I hope my eyes are okay, but I'm really disappointed about losing that fish. And I feel kind of stupid. Should have stopped the boat. That was a really nice one. I, we wouldn't have been able to eat all of it, but we could have maybe sold it to a restaurant or I don't know. I guess that sailfish is pretty happy and he gets to live in the sea, happy as Larry. I know that he did have a lure stuck in his mouth, but over time he'll manage to shake it out. So yeah, not really good for any of us. <laughs> we are absolutely battered, bruised. How are you feeling? Uh, I can't see out of my right eye, but it's really blurry. On this side, I can just see a little bit there. Oh my god. Uh, but I think my eye was closed when it hit. There's a little scar, a little slice on my eyelid. But uh, I'm more disappointed about the fish. Because I'm sure my eye is going to be alright. It's going to be uncomfortable for 24, two, two days maybe, hopefully. Yeah. This stuff's all right. After it happened, my first reaction was just to go and look in the mirror to see if it was like, uh, I'd need to go to a hospital. I was expecting to see my eye like split. And uh... I don't know, I don't know. So, so seeing it as it, you know, didn't 
You've had a look, it doesn't look like it's cut or no, sliced or anything. Yeah, yeah. So it's okay. <sighs> yeah. So we don't need to go to the hospital, which is good. Because we don't have uh, we don't have health insurance. Even though you got stitched up for free, I think because yours was like a proper emergency, they were like, Well we can't <laughs> we can't leave you like that. Uh, so good news is we're, we're pretty sure we don't need to go to the hospital. We just need to get to the anchorage safely. Okay, I, I just want you to... Just relax. See, I'm going to be thinking about that fish for ages. Uh, don't, don't. Forever zen. <laughs> I think after the adrenaline words up, it's, it's quite painful. Yeah, I'm sure it's the eye. The most precious part. The second most precious balls in the human body. Let's have a look at the eye. <sighs> it is hot. This is a really nice spot. You've got trees around, which is nice. Yeah. And uh, we might be here for a few days, maybe. Tomorrow, um, there's a storm for forecast, so... He says as well the wind's going to come into this anchorage for like a few hours, but I don't know if it's going to be like... He says maximum 17 knots, so we just need to prepare for that a little bit. But yeah, hopefully we're in the right place. There's no other really good sheltered anchorages around here and the winds are really light. Hopefully we'll be okay here. How's your eye? I'm, I've got blurred vision in this, yeah. in this, in this eye. Mm -hmm. So my perspective's a bit... It still mm -hmm. looks red. Yeah. It's not 24 hours yet, so give yeah. it time to heal. Good old Google says, uh, what, 72 hours? 24 to 72. Yeah. yeah. So that's good. We keep talking about the sailfish that we lost. That was a big one. That was yeah, a big one. Yeah, it's really huge. It looks like a monster. It's probably twice the size of the last one that we caught. Mm. It's like the size of my thigh. Yeah. The thigh's only that big. No, I meant to like the width of the fish. So Nadiana measures everything in thighs. <laughs> so you got the, the, the size no, of the no, fish's no. belly. Yeah, yeah, like from the side. Well, probably bigger actually. Yeah. Yeah, 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 actually bigger. Like I remember this bit was like blue, like shiny blue and shiny greenish. Yeah. It's, it's cool. It's, it's cool. So a huge storm rolled in last night while we were off the boat. We went to get some shopping. The windows were open. Not only did the thunderstorm blow our solar panel off into the water, which I recovered this morning, which now miraculously works. We didn't have so much luck with Nadiana's computer, which was underneath a window. And it was closed and water still managed to get in and under. That's dead. So many things are breaking. The iPad was broken somehow. No idea how that happened. So we're about to have round two of thunderstorms. And, oh, there was a little flash. There's thunderstorms forecasts all week. Nadiran is drying or patting down the cushions, which got wet as well. I've taped up this solar vent, which is always leaking. And as you can see, the wind was so strong last night. Blew the hatch down. I've also done this, which may be silly, let us know in the comments, but I've put a wire onto the backstay and just dropped that into the sea so that this stay is kind of grounded. So if lightning hits the mast, it should just go straight into the sea. <laughs> And I've done the same on the other one. So let me know if that would actually help or if it's just silly or making it worse. Let us know. The power of nature. <laughs> oh. So we were just enjoying the lightning show and I heard a buzzing, disconnected all the electrics 
and then found that this wire which has given me an electric shock. So don't touch it. Oh, is it like fully opened? Just be careful, please. Is it stat like static? Please. <laughs> now I need to you... check which wire this is. So we pulled out a little piece of paper. Uh, where our friend Pete had written down the wiring. One is wind vane, mm. and the one is aerial. Yeah. This wireless. <laughs> it's so not... scary. Yeah, I know. It was. I was thinking like the air is moist, and it could be. And if the lightning comes, we could mm. be like really, really in danger. I was watching some videos about it and. The wires going into the water, which I've done, are actually a good idea. Yeah. You want to make the boat positively charged. Uh, Basically, you want the boat to be the same as the water. Because oh. this is not attached to the water. So maybe it's because this is negatively charged. We're positively charged. And so negative wants to go to positive. There you go. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy time. So nice to be able to spend time with my son. <laughs> Mark find that ore from the storm. Somebody must have lost it. <laughs> He's got good balance. Yeah. He likes it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> this is where it gets hairy when the wind starts coming into the anchorage. It should only last a short amount of time. Bell's picking up. This is where people start to drag and you've got to stay alert. Mark is trying to surf on a wave. <laughs> so brave in this crazy condition. <laughs> Looks like he's having fun. And this dude is just so concerned for him. It's okay, Yoshi. It's okay. Don't worry. Thanks for watching this week. Thank you very much. And as you can see, Mark's wound is all fixed. And especially the eye, which made my heart drop. And again, sorry for all the moaning in this one. I think it looks so nice and it is a very visually amazing place but mm. when you live in there, pretty nasty. Uh, Rolly anchorage, yeah. then it's not very pleasant. I think it's the difference between living on a boat or just taking a boat out for a trip. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Mm. Alright, thanks so much to everyone who's been to our coffee and PayPal as well over the Thank last you. week. Your name's showing up on the screen, thanks so much. And also for all your likes and comments. And uh, thanks for watching. It Thank helps us you. A lot. I just realized something. Right. If you tilt the camera down a little bit, Mark is doing a COVID style. No pants but shirt. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Thank you and stay safe everyone. Bye bye.